smoke in the lobby of the theater down the street. Right. Yes. A, a good example would be a good example where would be a really good example would be the uh, one that does the movie grill, studio movie grill. Right. You can't smoke. Correct me wrong with what you're saying. You can't smoke in the theater back there in the back. And you can eat in there, and you can have your drinks in there, and watch the movie. But you can't smoke in there. But you go out into the front area, the front part of that area, according to that, except in the lobby. Right. Our area is not open to public. So if they, you go out in there, if the owner allows it. Right. And the owner chooses to allow it, then you can't have an area for people to go smoke. Is that right? Put in the lobby. Right. 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 Or, or for no, I'm not saying they do. I'm saying that's not that's office. It's not open to the public. That's And same thing would be for, uh, there are some dance recitals, or music recital places here. Uh, there's one for up at Edmund. They kind of do all the deals at the show. Yeah. 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 Same thing. You can't smoke in their facility unless you go out and they allow. Right. Well, they might allow it in their business. They don't. And, and I don't know. Um, that might be something you want to look at too, because Rudy was talking about all building. Uh, I don't know. I, we're there. I, I will say, Harriet, uh, do you have any idea, or, or from just from because we do fire inspections? On, do you have any idea of uh, business building, office buildings, basically, that allow smoking or don't allow smoking? Well, yeah, and, um, on a personal. I, I haven't heard any recently. Back, um, there's been again the, the the trend has changed. Back uh, when PI was here, Xerox was here, what big employment centers, um, they actually put in mechanical uh, smoking rooms, and those employees would go to those areas. Um, they've been away, to my knowledge. Um, I think most of the larger employers on their own have either gone smoke free, or they make them go outside according to what I've been told by a few of the inspectors. But I'm not, that's that's just off the cuff. And I think most of the, you were talking about the fog, but I'm not trying to pick trying to say, I think most of uh, office buildings have done that, period. But I, I it's been elected. Like, it's going to sound weird, but if, the, it's coming for all office buildings and everything else. Uh, I'm going to vote against it when it comes up. but. If it's coming anyway, let's just step out of heaven and go ahead and put it in there. But to make the photo, let's do it once and get it over with. You're saying, <laughs> let's go ahead and do it, but I'm going to vote against it. I'm going to vote against it. <laughs> you know, it, it, uh, it's, it's coming. I mean, the, the whole deal is coming. I mean, like the school zone, no cell phones. Yeah, yes, the cell phones in the school I, I, zone. I thought for sure the state would have done something for smoking statewide because every city's doing it. I thought they got close, but. Well, and I think, and, and I really think where it got hung up on the state, from what I understand, where it got hung up on the state, there were some, there were some things in there that uh, were over restricted. You know, sometimes a government tends to overkill when they go to try to solve a problem. And uh, one of the most pertinent examples we see is today is the uh, tip of the privacy. It's such an overkill, it's just drawing the cost of everything up. But uh, the thing, and two, it, it's like different communities, it still gives control to different communities to do the ordinance how they want to do it, I guess. Uh, like I gave you an example of Flower Mountain Island Village. The ordinances are very similar, but there is a distinction where they do allow people to smoke in their patios there in, with that, even if it's within so many feet. But, it's probably been mentioned in here, but Louisville Hospital up here, there's no smoking on their property. Yeah. Period. They used to allow the front. Front uh, door. No, they they did. Yeah. 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 Let, me, let me tell you this, up to about two years ago when I volunteered in there, <laughs> it was front door. I'd see these, people, I would literally see people with people an IV. In the day, they are walking all the neighborhoods smoking. There. I used to and see that's where all their walking their IV in man. their hospital being walking their IV out the door, standing outside the building, smoking, and coming back. Oh, here, yeah, do you have a 
And so it would either need to be at, say, a 3 o'clock on a weekday or a Saturday morning. So let's kind of think on that a little bit, and we'll go ahead and do this next presentation. And then at the end of that, we'll decide when we want to do that. Okay. Do you have something else? Saturday, that weekend's pretty cool. So, um, well, look, I do have a couple Saturday mornings. Well, I was actually thinking about, like, on a regular council meeting, coming, coming in, like, at 4 or something. Like we stay till 11 o'clock on those hours. anyway. Like, a couple Ooh. hours to do it. <laughs> uh, so, so I came in, uh, we didn't have anything else in the workshop. I, mean, I said 3 o'clock. Uh, depending on what else we sort of do. So it could be 5. It could be 5. <laughs> I think if we went from 4 o'clock. 5 to 6.30 or 5, 4.30 to 6.30 would be fun. I don't mind coming in early for the council meeting. Well, and that, that's why I said depending on people's work. If we, people can get off work and go in and find them, that's what I have to do with Saturday. Yeah. All right. We have one more item here. One more. Uh, that one's going to be the CIT program. Uh, FYI, 